first time I heard about MS Square was from my guidance counselor at school. She introduced the program to, to students like myself. And originally when I heard it, I heard three summers and I was a little thrown off by that. Originally, I thought just a camp for just, uh, I don't want to use the word, but nerds. I mean, I don't know. And I didn't know it was for five weeks. I didn't know I wouldn't be able to see my family for the whole time. Like I was, when I got to the interview and she told me all that, I was like, ooh, for real. My mom just looked at me like really seriously. She was like, can I say it in Spanish? She was like, yeah, she was like, ¿De veras hacer esto? So the process for applying to MS Squared was you had to be interviewed by Ms. Burgos. Um, you had to send transcripts from your counselors and your grades and everything from high school. So it was, it was tough, but I got it together. I got an interview. I dressed traditional and I was very nervous. But at the end of my interview, I remember shaking her hand and saying, I look forward to meeting you again this summer. And I could see the surprise in her eyes when I said that. And then I get an email saying I got accepted and I, I start crying because I, it was just so amazing. Like, I'm going to Massachusetts and... I was screaming, I'm like, I made it. I can't really explain how it was, but it's just like that sense of happiness, like extreme happiness and just being able to do something that's like not every um, child or student has the opportunity to do. I never thought that like a girl like me would go somewhere like like that. On the reservations, it's it's just usually dirt, and you come over here and it's just nothing but greenery and grass and everywhere you go, and it's just kind of gives you that sense of happiness on just exploring the kind of world basically, going somewhere you've never been before. My mom was definitely concerned about me being away from home. She probably cried like when we got to the airport. It was ridiculous. It was like first flight. So I got to sit in the window, which is awesome. I got to see everything, it was good. So the first time I stepped on campus, first year, it was a total shock. So I, nobody from my school was here. So I was completely new to everybody, to every teacher, to the whole experience. I hadn't been to Massachusetts or anything. So it was a, a, a brand new start, like just nervous, excited, clueless. Uh, it was just a mixed feeling. I didn't know where to go, who to talk to. So I was just trying to see where I fit in, but after the second day, I realized, okay, this is where I belong. When I attended morning meeting, found more and more people like me. It was really different, seeing people of all sorts of different races pass me by as I was struggling to find my dorm. But when I came back this summer, it was a completely different feeling of now that I'm back home, I was so happy. Here I finally found people who were like me. Kids who had ambition, had dreams, and were willing to work for it. Who, were, who weren't willing to let go of their culture, weren't willing to let go of their backgrounds. Instead, they used that to push them forward into um, greater things in life. The average MS squared scholar is motivated, dedicated, and Really enthusiastic, in my opinion. Like at home, some of the kids aren't as motivated, like at all. They'll just like be like, I don't know how to do that, so I'm gonna just leave it there. But like here, we like we try and we push ourselves. And like we're pushed by like our like leaders and whatnot. So it's just it's a different kind of environment here. Everybody is one big family, and they they motivate you to do anything. And like like even it's like midnight or like pretty late, we'll be like, Did you get this question? Did you understand it? And back home, they'd be like, Leave me alone. Go to sleep. So it's like we we're all like trying to push each other. The courses here were harder than I expected, but not harder more because it was so intense. You only have five weeks, so you get, they gotta crush everything down in that five weeks. And it was so intense to try to learn so much in such a small period of time. All the teachers here are really, how do I say this? They're really fun, like they think of like, new ways to express the same topic that I would learn at home. So like they would come at it as a different way, like a different experiment or a different challenge, like a different game. So MS Squared has this tradition called cultural sharing, where the Latin American, the African American, the Native Americans, we perform this show to exp like just express our culture. We could be singing, acting, or poetry, anything, just or dances also, just to express what we have, what we have to offer and who we are. and 
share it with other people who might never like experience that back at home if they weren't part of the MS Squared program. Outside of MS Squared, I met people from um, Turkey, Russia, China, Japan, all over the world. So I also had experiences to you know grasp what they were talking about, like their own cultures, traditions, and you know things of that sort. I am so grateful for the college counseling course here. I'm so grateful. And I think getting a, a head start on it here during the summer will help me so much during the school year and make it so much easier for me. One of our college counselors uh, said that if you really pay attention to this class and work hard, by the end of summer, when you apply to college, all you have to do is press send. The reason I think it's like really important for women, especially of color, to study STEM is because like, we have ideas that nobody else has thought of yet. I think that we should all have an opportunity to strive and succeed in our areas of strength. You can talk to someone from China about math and they'll understand you. You can talk to someone from Germany about math and they'll understand you. It's very important with, for Native Americans to venture out into the STEM field so that we can communicate with all those different types of people, with all those different types of ethnicities and communities that we can work with them and build a, a better world through math and science. So the next four years I'm planning to major in mechanical engineering with a minor in poli-sci. Uh, I'm intending to in my career go into the mechanical engineering field and create amazing things but also with a connection to my to some civic engagement where I'm able to connect the stuff that I'm doing with engineering to help communities that are in need much like the communities that I come from. Like coming from like Chicago, I would have never thought that I'd be able to go to like a boarding school all the way on like the East Coast just to like, to learn about math and science and like to meet new people that I never would have thought that I met. It's just, it's a really fantastic opportunity and me and my family are so grateful. It gives me a warm feeling inside that at least someone out there is giving us the opportunity to achieve our goals and to make our communities better. There's a lot of us out there that want these types of opportunities, but just sometimes they don't know how to or can afford to have these opportunities. So them being able to donate and take a part in our future is just amazing. It's like I have so much gratitude towards them. I don't want to leave Andover. And that's a joke I have with my friends here, is whenever we hug and I realize it's only the second week, however, we only have three more weeks left. I won't be able to see them for a whole year again. And it's very sad. I remember leaving last year crying because I didn't want to go. I love it here. I just, there's not much more to say than that. My mom, when I got home, she was like, why are you still doing your own laundry? Like she was the one that did my laundry before I came here. So now that I'm here, I do my own laundry. Like when I go home, I still do my own laundry. So she was like, what, what's going on? And I was like, I don't know. 